Amid protests that have convulsed Belarus following Alexander Lukashenko's claims of an election landslide in August, the country's Catholics have played an outsized role despite making up less than a fifth of the population. A key moment when Belarusian Catholic Archbishop Tadeusz Kondrusiewicz condemned a police crackdown on protesters in the wake of the vote. His statements led the government to withdraw his passport and exile him from his own country. The reprisals, unprecedented against religious figures, even in Lukashenko's repressive rule, have come as the Belarusian government has increasingly viewed the country's 1.6 million Catholics as enemies in the current political crisis. If we're silent about the innocent blood that was spilled after the election, then we'll all answer for it. The fact that I'm God's servant means I should be even clearer about my positions as a citizen of Belarus. The demonstrations are centered in the country's capital, Minsk, where every weekend Catholics join the tens of thousands to take to the streets, risking arrest. Meanwhile, in Belarus's east, along the Polish border, where Catholics are more prevalent, support has come from a more unexpected source. Father Pavel, an Orthodox priest affiliated with the Moscow Patriarchate, argues Lukashenko's actions are reminiscent of Soviet-era repressions against his own church's followers amid the Great Terror. When the day comes, it's important to show your principles. As the Russian poet Alexander Galich once said, things never become simpler and our century is now testing us. Will you go out on the square when the time arrives? The faithful Catholics who crowd the local cathedral are mostly of Polish descent, feeding the government's mistrust, argue locals. We have a recent tradition in Belarus in which all political crises are blamed on Poland. It's a result of Lukashenko's deep phobia of Poland. Lukashenko hates Poland and he hates Warsaw. With Belarus's Catholic minority under suspicion, church leaders say they've reached out to the government for talks with little success. We see that dialogue with the authorities isn't working. We worry that you can't go out on the street without unknown people in masks arresting you and ending up in a courtroom. As the struggle for power continues, Belarus's Catholics have been drawn into the wider dilemma facing the country, which vision of Belarus's future they prefer and how much they're willing to risk to attain it. Charles Maines for VOA News in Minsk and Grodno, Belarus.